Bricks is doing the project tomorrow. Okay. As in presenting the project. It's fine. Alright, I'm recording okay. now. So Awesome. Here's my recommendation. Everyone uh, Okay, everyone roll out house. And then for your setup as demo, I go left. I'm shooting my first sticky like at this door. And then my next two are responses. So if they go Say that one more time. So left like so the go valley? lunchbox. I go lunchbox no. every time. I always go lunchbox. Okay. And then I shoot the door. And then door. if there's a demo there, I shoot him again. Okay. If there's not, I shoot him up there. Uh, okay. So I start dominance on their demo man and kill him instantly. He's so forced. what you're doing is like you're shooting this first sticky, you're shooting a second sticky, whether that's there or there, and you're moving right. So you're starting here, and you're gonna move right. Meanwhile, so, okay. everyone else is rolling up. As Romer, I like to go top left, and the best places to bomb are gonna be, like, from here, and then off this wall. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of the simplest way to do things, is, like, just to bomb high, and you can do all sorts of stuff. As well, you have this nice spam angle that you can shoot spam rockets from to hit them along here. And you have nice spam across to here, while well, like being very safe back here. So I usually play here as Rummer, because I can bomb or spam. Then as Pocket, and Medic, and two scouts I'll get to you last. So, as Pocket Soldier, usually their demo is looking to put stickies right here. So it's your responsibility to shoot them away. So you'll, you'll roll out here, and you'll go right. And you'll shoot the stickies away, and then you immediately want to get to, like, this crate. And this gives you good spam angles across, as well as, like, some safe space over here. And yeah, you can just spam. The thing you have to worry about as Pocket Soldier is getting counterbombed, so... Say, like, some guy from here commits on you. Uh, you have a good chance of dying, so usually you have to jump off and jump back or something, but that's... Like, your chief concern is basically just doing damage with spam from this high ground, and not dying. So as medic, what you're looking to do is roll out this way. I'd roll out lower every time, because this is just kind of standard procedure. The first person you want to link up with is your demo man. Usually he'll be on the stairs or right here. And you heal him to full. And then next you're going to look to find a scout, who's going to be either right here right here, or behind you, up top. Let me close this, if I can. I can't. This soap thing opens up the spawn doors. Yeah, it's red. I'd have to be in red team. Anyway, suffice to say, as medic, you basically want to heal your demo and then get your scouts. So as scouts now, there's kind of two places I, I like to play. So as combo scout, I enjoy being the guy. And I like to stand, like, up here. It allows me to move from this ramp area to over... Oops, to over onto point. And this is, like, a power position on this mid right here, and also right here. You just have really strong high ground to play with, while, like, not really being able to be damaged from below. Besides from a demo. Uh, as Flight Scout, I like to just chill back here on this roof because I can deny bombers I can protect my medic uh, the other alternative is to play here this is pretty good as well um, both allow you good pistol spam angles and stuff to play off of so you're not gonna die instantly and uh, allows you to keep good high ground and deny bombers oh uh, there's a couple way to, ways to get up on top of this thing but I think the easiest is to roll out back door, and you jump on this rock, and then you jump up here. Uh, I think you can also... I'm not sure if you can jump up onto this sheet metal. I don't think so. Not as a scout, I don't believe. No. no you have to go rock and then get up there. Uh, yep. You can also do a more complicated jump from, from here. Just over. Yeah. yeah, if you're goaded. But it's a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. I would recommend it. Also, if you get knocked sheet. back at the wrong time, you miss it up too. I might be able to jump on the sheet with Winger, maybe. Yeah. yeah, you can jump on that. Yeah, you can jump on like everything with Winger, I believe. It's way easier. 
But then you kind of don't have a pistol, which is really good. Yeah, on this map especially. A lot yeah. of long straight, like long flat sight lines in this map. So I would recommend just jumping off rock and having a default pistol, and you could spam. So basically your default setup is what I talked about. You have your demo from going from here to the middle, your meds coming out here, your pockets top right, your soldiers playing left, or roamers playing left, you have a plague scout up here and pocket scout over here, and a medic in the middle. Sound good so far? Yeah, for me. Yeah. Uh, some brief demo questions, if I can? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, that little staircase, mm -hmm. that, um, up this to your, to your left, it's like behind you, so you come out, lunchbox, you said every time? Yeah. I see sometimes demo men will stay on that thing to your right. This thing. Yeah, they'll, they'll get on that. What, why would they do that? Is it just wrong? It's a different it... angle. So, it's the same right. thing. Obviously, their, their goal is the same. They want to move from here. Yeah. And get to over here. Yeah. But sometimes when they go this way, there's like different Scout sight lines. Well, there's different sight lines because you can shoot through and okay. to here. And there's like different angles from down here versus up here. And it makes it more difficult for their demo to kind of pick you out and shoot you if he doesn't he doesn't know where you're gonna be before you go there so that's kind of why they right. do this this also has a nice vantage point because like for example an angle you really don't have from down here is like you have to charge a sticky to shoot a guy over there yeah you versus just like chuck it. yeah from right here you can just chuck yeah uh, uh another thing is why would a demo man go lower I called to come out lower. What advantages does this give? It's a hard mix up. If you're getting like truly fucked up here, like you're getting sticked off and bombed and whatnot. Yeah. Let's and go you lower. just can't play, yeah, you go lower. But you in, have to be in there, yeah. In any other situation though, I wouldn't, because like if they have a soldier that's bombing you, for example. I'm way lower, which I means... would just put your sticks here and then yeah. and then you can chill. I mean it's fine, like you can still shoot from here. It's okay. Yeah. And then same thing, vice versa. Like if their demo is shooting you and he's just sticking you off, then you just you just blast him away. Take your time. As long as you have one person, if you're engaged in like a one v one, if that makes sense, uh, it's fine. Like a soldier's gonna try to fuck with you. The demo's gonna try to fuck with you. Like don't change your plans just because of one person. Only change your plans because of two or three people. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, only if the entire team adapts do I really need to make yeah, changes myself. Exactly. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's it. Any more questions? Um, hmm. All right, so the actually, second... Actually, wait, wait. Uh, the area where you were just standing on, right above point, does yeah. that have any use at all? Yeah, it's a nice spot for soldiers. Uh, it's definitely good if you can get up there. Uh, Scout doesn't have an easy way to get up there. So, it's, uh, it's not, like, the most useful thing to know. But definitely it is a good... I mean, it's the highest high ground, which is always good. So, yes... Being a soldier up here is usually quite nice. But you get shot by a lot of things, because it's right in the middle. It's very easy to, like, shoot this guy. So, yeah, it's good. For sure. But definitely not, like, a default place. Um, I was gonna say... So, the, there's two contingencies. Either you're gonna win... Or you're going to lose. And what you do in both situations is very different. So when you're winning the mid, your ideal position is what I talked about before. You take this power position right on top, and you have to force them to leave. Basically, they're going to be forced to leave either valley or house once you take aggressive positioning. Usually what aggression looks like is it's going to come from this ramp. And you're going to walk up this ramp as a team. So usually as demo, I look to hang back and let everyone else do the work. So 
so our soldier will be will be like up here. We'll have this position. While our scout moves forward, our medic can play like on the ground or walk up. Both are okay. And then you can have your rumor bomb or commit to get to here. Or bomb onto uh, their shack roof. And while this is happening, like everyone gets the chance to kind of walk forward a bit and get to their spots. And then you kind of just want to shoot down at them and force them out. So you do this anytime that they have less numbers or there's like good damage calls. Make sense so far? Alright, so the reverse situation is if you're getting messed up, your best bet is to rotate into Valley. So Valley is a little bit hard to wrap your head around sometimes, because it's really easy for soldiers to bomb here. Let's turn this shit off. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like a soldier could get on top of a million things and kill you. Yeah, but it's actually good in exactly that way, because if you are only down one and you play Valley and you set your scouts up like on here and on this thing and as demo you play for the back you trap these off whatever um as we leave right yeah so say you guys are leaving this way and they over chase they chase one in or chase two in you have a good chance of killing these guys actually because you have great high ground and there's a lot of stuff to maneuver off of that makes it difficult to play soldier it's like as medic you can stand in the middle of this yard and he has to hit multiple good rockets on you while you can move. And same thing, you can like play on this ledge as med and heal a scout here, or like play on the rock or something. And you just have like ultimate kind of maneuverability. Like if the soldier tries to shoot you, you can jump off and dodge and go back and whatnot. So it's actually like you're kind of anticipating that this is a place that soldiers could go and you kind of have the setup and resources to be able to catch them this would be only if you're like one down literally just a one player disadvantage you can kind of bait them but otherwise i would look to leave all the way and the fastest way to leave is just straight under and you can either go ramp room or up this pipe and you leave straight and it's faster to go like this bridgeway versus to go right so yeah that's about it so if you're down two or more i'd recommend leaving straight away um but if you're down one you can kind of start to play valley and prep things up take height and if they eventually capture the point that's kind of your cue to back all the way up because uh they'll start to take control of house and they can annoy you they can go down drop down beat you to here and that's bad so you don't want to be too slow to leave if they're getting point. Does all of that make sense? Any questions? Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Fine. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about the holds and pushes now. Uh, okay, so let's start with last. So I recommend on last, if you're full to sad <clears throat> and you have time, put a sentry gun there or here. Those are kind of the two best spots. Anywhere else kind of sucks because it's either like easy to take out or doesn't watch the point. So some spots that people put a lot that like I don't like that much are under here, uh, under here. Like they watch the point, sure, but it's very easy to take them out like without prior knowledge. So like if you peek this at all as a soldier which like a hundred percent as a rummer you go this way you're gonna see the gun so it's like so easy to spam from this angle because you have right usually right-handed rocket launcher 
and you can just spam it from around the corner, and it's not a problem. Whereas vice versa, like a gun here is really difficult for that player to deal with, and it watches this door and watches point. Uh, this gun suffers from the same stuff. It's easy to kill from a soldier over there. But it watches point, and it's difficult for them to spot until they're already in if they use through shutter. So that's kind of the rationale behind the two guns. Suffice to say, good to have a gun. Pyro's not very good. Scout's pretty good. This is like a very open last point, so Scout is quite good. And uh, Heavy... Heavy, Sniper are all pretty good. Yeah. I would recommend probably NG Sniper and then have the Sniper switch to Heavy and spawn. It's kind of a classic yeah. thing. Then for... So for Ditsad, I would recommend just playing spawn. You try to rotate the other way around here. This last kind of sucks. There's... It's yeah. pretty, pretty easy to push, I would say, as far as... Oh, thank god. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, definitely easier than Snake and Gully, I would say. Yeah, I feel like we always get to... I feel like we usually will win a mid, go to last, fuck it up, get pushed back to our last die. <laughs> That's usually what half our rounds feel like. So. Yeah, so this makes it worse, because uh, I think it's pretty... Well, no, 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 because we just succeed on the first last push. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, whoops, I accidentally ripped the Ethernet cable out of the wall. <laughs> uh, All right. I suggest you don't do that. Yeah, I'll, agree. I'll keep my legs crisscrossed into my seat. Okay, so if you're gonna push out, so... Oh, when you're even, I recommend having your pocket play up there. And you can rotate from there to here. And back and forth. And then as rumor, I play up here. And as demo, I trap Shutter and this and... I don't know. There's all sorts of traps in here that I'll go over, I guess. I'll just go over them now. So you have this this corner for sure, really good. These things are really good. They kind of, I mean, it looks stupid from here, but... They don't pay a lot of attention when they're pushing fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, this, all of these corners are good. This is when leaving uh, to last, though, basically, right? Yeah, so if you're defending last, this is what I would do. Um... But there, it goes the same way in both directions. So I'd be looking to trap there, here, this box, this thing. Sometimes cheeky traps up here. Like here, let me show you. Oh yeah, because they, it's... Yeah. It does Under like light, 250. Or over the light. Yeah. Oh no, never mind. You I can't. mean, that's pretty good. And it does 150. Yeah. Feels mad. Yeah. I was gonna say, as far as defending last goes, the the, the doors are not very good when friendly, I've noticed. No. no, no. That door well, right this there. this is a shutter, so you're kinda... But yeah, they're, I mean, yeah, they're that, pretty tall. That's the only one, really. Because, like, that... That one is, like, workable, but I can't watch it from an angle that, like... Yeah. Really the scout could just run through shutter if I don't click in time, or... Yeah, like, so I would, it. I would do this, and then... Like this, probably. <laughs> That's honestly it. I would okay. just do stuff like this and then watch from far away if you're like even or descend. Because it's kind of on them to do something, so you can. Does this a. Uh... This is not a hole. No. <sighs> Lied to. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. That sounds okay. For yeah, holding. Sure. So for pushing out. You have. Really only one option, and that's to go through this door and not use. Um, basically, they're going to be playing bridge. Like this. So, usually what I've seen done, and like the most common thing to do, is you take a demo and a scout. Uh, you have your pocket soldier hold on right and kind of watch this lobby from far away. And then your flank is hard baiting you, essentially, in this shutter door and, like, watching uh, ramp room. So, okay. this is Romer and playing scout. 
then you have pocket on far right, and then as a combo you kind of walk through this doorway and you occupy this area. So the best way to deal with traps is to get a sticky through the doorway and clear them, because it'll clear them off all of this, you just have to time it well. But it's pretty easy, just from back here you can do it on default. And then what you want to do is have everyone walk through at the same time. So if you clear the trap you can get through here, you can spam them out of here. And usually as soldier I hang back and I watch ramp room and I let this the flank scout uh, get in all the way. And you can kind of as flank scout watch lower, walk over to bridge, rotate over here. This is a little bit of an annoying last to push out of. They have a lot of back cap avenues, so uh, just kind of sticking to like these sort of intermediary points where like that's a big choke point that you can watch. So like watching this is like the flank and this is only one door on the right. So as long as you have your combo here and your flank over there, there's no way they can back up. So it's kind of like gully wash in the sense that you have to clear the main chokes or you're going to get fucking... Yeah, rolled. but it's it's good in that there's only two doors that you... Two quote-unquote areas, I guess, that Sounds you have to be concerned about. So yeah. what? It's almost good that it's also almost gully wash. Yeah. You did good there. <laughs> so then... Yeah. Alright. Any questions about last in general before we move on? So how viable is it to wrap on this? Like if they're if they're holding and then, or actually, uh, I'll say that until later until you talk about holding. Second mm -hmm. last. Do you mean wrap is in like push out of last and they're holding second? Uh no I I um It'll lose then when yeah. we're holding second and oh. they're on yeah last. we'll get to that and then they like repush in the list anyway okay yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that when we're talking about pushing second. Um, yeah, so when you're dis -ad, you put your combo scout right here, medic back here, healing him at B-length. Uh, usually as demo, it's... Well, you have a lot of trap options, because you have lower, you have point, you have above there, you have valley. So you can kind of watch from wherever you feel is best. Um... But I'd recommend avoiding Shutter if you can, because it's easy to get caught if you're too slow. So I like to play main as demo and kind of plan to leave out this way. Then as soldiers, um, it's good to spam for a force, but you really want to live, so I'd recommend going main as well to leave. Um, it's a little bit hard to get out of this door when you have your scout and medic already there. So I would like not look to overload this door because if everyone tries to leave through this door that's how like the only way that your second hold goes bad um yeah so the classic positions are basically just having soldiers on these things scouts on these things to watch stuff as they come in and it's easy to just drop down and jump away uh, you can also stand on this, obviously. It's kind of a nice spot as soldier if you wanted to uh, do some kind of hidden high bomb or something. Or you, I don't know, do that. But with rockets. Yeah. Like stay real close to the wall so they don't see you, hopefully. Yeah. But you can do the same thing from uh, from here as yeah. well. Uh, the one thing you do have to be aware of is they can see you. Like, if you have shadows on, you can see people through this wall. And vice versa, you can see the oh. other way. Um, I'd show you, but I don't have another so player. Don't, so don't hug the wall. You have to be, like, quite a ways off of it, actually. Uh, you have to be, like, here for them to not see you through the wall. Oh, damn. It's weird that it's even there, then. But huh? <laughs> It's just, uh, it's not intended, you know. So, yeah. yeah. I think... I would not recommend hiding here at all in general, just because there's a 100% chance that someone on their team sees you. And they just shoot, turn around the corner, two-pipe you, and you die. Yeah, you know? I've done so many kills on people who think I just have hacks because, I mean, I basically do. You can see them through the wall. Anyway, so don't hide there. <laughs> Suffice to say. Um... Yeah, so that's holding with this ad. When you're even, 
I recommend you have your scout build right here and watch lower. Your demo watch main. As pocket soldier, I like to chill up here and look to either like be able to spam this or like be able to jump towards valley. And then as rumor, I just play on top of this thing for the most part and spam. And I have this nice spam angle in the house. It's fun. Um, and then you have the counter bomb that I talked about that's pretty nice. The other thing I see soldiers do is they play like over here and they, I don't know, do some kind of jump off the wall. I guess it's that's not that optimal. They just go here and jump off the wall from here. If they know they're coming valley. Let me show you exactly what I mean, so it's explicit and clear. So that's the bomb into Valley, or into Seca. From Valley, yeah. And then, yeah, you have this. It's pretty oh, devastating. Damn. Blow up a combo. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Then, next is pushing. So, same idea. Your flank is going to be over there. But this time you only really have one door for pushing out again. So I should go back to what I was saying at last, where like this door and this door, uh, ramp room and shutter, like you can go out of, but you really have to use, and their combo is going to be right there, so it's easy for them to leave. Oh, okay. So it kind of sucks to use out these doors. In the same way, um, yeah, there, then there's just a tiny house that they'll juggle you. It's the same thing when you're going into mid. This door sucks for using an uber, and so does this one, because they just see you and they can leave from whatever doorway. They spot you each way. Um, and, like, it's a doorway, so there can be a soldier hiding, like on Vent, Amogus. Um, Damn it, he stole the joke. Yeah. So... <laughs> This is like the only reason that teams don't really go out this door, at least for free, because it's too easy to get forced. So if you have to use through this door, it's terrible. So you basically only go valley and you try not to use valley. Um, so I go under basically every time with... Yeah. Well, you take your whole combo... I'd say take your basically your entire team valley. And then, as Pocket Soldier, usually I play, like, this doorway and kind of watch this. I make sure there's not someone here. But otherwise, like, you have your entire team set up here. And you try to force them out with the Uber. So normally they're playing, like, right here, looking at you. Like, this is usually a scout right here. Usually. Oh god. This is a soldier, like, right here. And they'll be shooting you, and they'll see you. But ideally, you can force them out, and it's just play TF3, basically. So yeah, you want to be pretty aggressive, like you want to walk towards them, threaten to use the uber into them and kill them, but uh, you don't have to use. You ideally don't want to unless their combos come. So, does that all make sense? Yeah, that was hard. Seems simple, yeah. Awesome. I wanted to ask a little bit about second slash mid, if I could. Um, yeah. Valley. Yes. The, not the lower, not the valley, the lower, whatever it's called. The garage. Here? No, to your here. left. Yeah. I call this under. Under. How does under kind of work for this, like both pushing and stuff? Because I feel like it's one of the more unique spots, uh, spots on this map. Because, like, I know it's sometimes soldiers will just decide to, ah, I'm just going to go into ramp room from here. And they kind of do, and it sucks. You mean, like, they go from here to there? Yeah. No, they go from here to into, yeah, they go from here into the ramp room. Like, they're pushing. Yeah, or, or whatever. Or a scout will just run under sometimes. Yeah, they will do that. Um, the best yeah. thing to mitigate that is, like, what I talked about, the scout here. You okay. just have full vision. And it's usually your main caller, so your main caller having full vision of two different places from the same spot is incredibly broken. <laughs> Alright. And do we just, like, we just start spamming it out whenever they try to push it, I guess? 
Uh, yeah, you have... I mean, don't forget that this is still high ground. Like... Right. You can still shoot them down. It's good. I mean, there's so many ways. Alright. As far as if we're on mid trying to push into second, how do you feel about under? It's not worth it. So mid into second. That's a different yeah. question. We'll talk about it when we get there. But, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, as far as defending against it is something I wanted to... So, the same sort of stuff mm -hmm. that applies to any of the other doors. Like, I would make sure that you periodically have traps here. Like, here. Especially if you know they like to go under versus... Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's just the art of trapping in general. But it's nice to have traps. You very can't do the same one all the time, yeah. Nice to have traps and drop or here or on this. You have a you have a lot of good angles, I would say. And then vice versa in Valley as well. Like it's nice if you can put traps like on this corner and have your flank call them, or you can put them on this thing. Mhm. Mm or uh, this corner. Oh, that's where Habib was putting them. Okay. Yeah. So. Or, uh, you can also put them, like, right here. This is pretty annoying to deal with. Uh, really? You can put them right here. That seems to be here. Yeah. Um, this is, like, funny. It's, like, in Snake Water, where, uh, in Kitchen. But, like, normally when you're walking up, you don't usually go up here, so you don't see it. You're not going to be like, oh, what's that right there? No. Oh, you go, I see like, it. You're like, oh, where's the bomber? Where's the bomber? Now I'm here. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, a lot of it is just like... Even if you put it in plain sight, that doesn't mean like someone's... That, like, everyone's going to notice. Yeah. that's. I've noticed that from pubs, specifically. <laughs> That's yeah. that's because of player quality, not because they're <laughs> actually good traps. Good players miss things when you force them to play faster. That's oh, but so by being better, you get away with more dumb shit. Got it. Basically, <laughs> if you're if you're good at killing them and you put traps or like I don't know if they try to play fast, like yeah. you can catch out players who just like don't do the fundamentals. They don't clear stuff. They don't communicate good. I don't know. Yeah, they don't do their job, yep. So... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Does that answer your question? I feel like it probably does. I got an idea, yeah. I'm yeah. not trying to do rally you too much. No, it's okay. So yeah, back to the this... For Rix and Finn, you're both welcome. Yes. Back to this, uh, valley push stuff. So... You want to force them out by walking into them. Usually that just means running up a scout here. If you have to use, you have to use. But usually there'll be, like, players in different places, so... There's ample opportunity to clean players up who go behind if you do have to use. So... Uh, yeah, you can just set up on point. So then, let's move on to mid. So playing mid with this ad, the best place to leave... is here. So as medic, I play, like, right here. I put my scout right here. Um, and then everyone else kind of played somewhere. I don't really know <laughs> what my flank lights to do, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure they just play on this box and, like, shoot from far away. Or, like, so play... basically just chilling right outside the lunchbox. Yeah. I know that my roamer likes to play up here really aggressive and be annoying if they go under and then jump away. But, yeah, a leaving lunchbox is the move, for sure. It's the, okay. just the fastest way out, and like you have basically a direct line from there to second. Okay. Everywhere else is like extremely far in comparison. Like any other door, you're going way over here, and then you have to go down and back up and what whatnot. Like every other door is extremely slow to leave. So bear that in mind for when you're pathing. Yeah. So, when you're holding mid, when it's even, you're going to be trying to sack into them. So, normally the best way to do this is to have one projectile class, whether it's a demo or a soldier. Uh, this will vary depending on what you want to do. But, if you want to sack, say, a soldier, so it's really common to do like a double soldier sack. Uh, in which case, you have your demo, watch this door. 
uh, you have your pocket scout uh, play with your combo. You have your whole combo over here except for your demo. So you get your soldiers buffed and you're going to have them bomb from here. And you have your flank scout watch under and your combo scout watch forward. And your objective is to just get two soldier bombs into them. That was such a terrible high bomb, but you can get way higher. Uh, I think the best way to do it is probably here. Yeah. And your way above. Perfect, um, so for the, for the double sacks, is just the main goal to get the medic and force, or maybe yeah. even drop? Okay, yeah. should we aim to get any picks off of it? No. If you're gonna get a pick, okay, okay. if you're gonna pick a go for picks, I would single sack. Because it's way easier for you to have, like, like your soldier, one soldier fake, one commit, both, so both soldiers bomb, one fake, one commit, have your scout go under, then you have your demo spamming from house, you have your combo in valley, and you can um, you can try to spam and like shoot the medic from quite a ways away. And also as medic, like, uh, something to know uh, is that this is a nice arrow angle. It's a very good free damage. Because you're max range and you're very likely to hit someone there for 75, which can be huge. Um, yeah, so the idea of like double sacking, why you double sack on this second or this mid into the second versus other ones is because once you get the force, um, you can just play far away. You can just play really passive. So you basically just kite it, right? Yeah, and they're, and they're gonna have to do something, but once they get to this point, you'll get your spawners. And you can just take a five or a six v six, and you'll have Uber, so you'll force them out, and then usually you can use into their second, try to kill the med. Um, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, generally like big, big midpoints are like great for double sex. So like process, uh, sunshine, metalworks, like all of these have massive midpoints where you can kite from far away, so you double sack a lot. Um, but I would I would keep it simple. Do like a lot of singles. Newcomer generally like you get away with single sacks a lot. So the one that I would do if I were you guys is um, do what I talked about. So you fake fake one soldier, like go away, or you can um, you can do this and you can leave the store or you can leave. Uh, Lower like this. Sometimes you'll get caught if you try to get too fancy with these things, but that's kind of like your idea. Is like you want to have one guy fake and then one guy commit onto shutter. So uh, that's the idea, I guess. And then another idea you also have, so if you really want to get really aggressive, like as a scout, it's really free to just kind of walk under here if they're not looking at you. And you can just stand right here and you just get so much damage. And you have like a health pack right here, you can run away. It's pretty good. The one thing I would ro not recommend is peeking this door. This is like the noob trap is peeking this because... As soon as somebody stands over here, they're dead. Like my whole combo goes like, oh, and there's a, there's a, some kind of guy in the corner, you know. Trapped, wanting to die. Yeah. He's asking for it. We use a specific word that I would not want to repeat, but. Oh, because you're gonna upload this. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but right. yeah. <laughs> I think I know what you're gonna say then, yeah. Yeah. So there's a, a type of player who likes to get caught in the corner and we kill them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So don't peek this door, but peek lower and bomb from valley. Those are good sets. Another thing you can do. Well, actually, no. Just ignore drop down, honestly. Like, drop down is kind of a gimmick in the year 2022. There's, like, so rarely a time where a drop down play is actually going to be good. 
The yeah. only time I time it perfectly. <laughs> the only time you really oh, I can't even do it. Oh. <laughs> Noob moment. There we go. Uh, the only time I would ever do something here is like if they're pushing from mid and you're hiding right here. This is like a one-off thing. The party can make anything happen. Yeah. So I would clear this as you're pushing, like, shoot this wall, make sure there's not someone there. Otherwise, yeah, who cares. So, the other thing that's fun to do, the last thing I'll talk about on this point, I'm going to say a lot of ideas just because I'm recording so you guys can see. It's easy yeah. to put one soldier here to watch this, so usually your pocket soldier, and then you have your whole combo rotate valley. You have your scouts, or like your flank scout, try to go under, uh, while your combo just kind of pushes, slow pushes valley. So like you bring your demo all the way over here, you let him like launch stickies at their med over there. Like you can commit a soldier, but generally you have a soldiers hanging out here waiting to commit, and then you can bomb. Once you get damage from your demo, that's kind of like taking a really shitty dry fight, essentially. Um, yeah, does that idea make sense? Sort of. These are just, like, a lot of options you have for the future, but I would stick to the very simple, like, just single sack. There's no no need to get complicated yet. But I yeah. just want to introduce some ideas. So, if you actually do get a pick or a, put, or a force, the best place to go is Valley. Um, same reason as before, it's like really difficult to get through this doorway and get their medic, because their medic's playing all the way over there. Like if their medic was right here, then definitely use through this door, you'll catch him. But since he's like so far away, and once you get there, you're just going to get juggled and kited, there's kind of no way to use this uber effectively into them. So you kind of have to go valley and take for free and try to slow push so you like drop off up here um and you look to walk and take take the point area and force them away with the uber or the other thing you can do um so i call that dry push from alley and then this would be like a rush under this is kind of a classic play you take two scouts and you go directly up pipe. So this would be like if you know they're not going to spot you, you just run directly up into them, and you can catch them right here and just use like as little oh, as like possible. Oh, like guys are trying to leave shutter, yeah. Yeah. You shoot them in the ass, yeah. They might not spot you running up on you. The other thing you can do is go ramp room, because if they're leaving shutter, then they'll they'll happily meet up with you right here. Um. So yeah, that's especially against teams that are like slow or a bit oblivious. This is really a good way to punish, because you can get in quite deep here without them seeing you. And go ramp room. Uh, if they really just don't respect you and they play close, then that's when you're going to uber through main. But otherwise, I would avoid it against any team that plays normal. So, like, basically we should uber through main at least once to see if they can stop us from doing it. No, it will be obvious. <laughs> It's the opposite. Like, if they're playing... Oh, okay. If they're, like, when you guys push Valley, if they're playing absurdly close, I would take note, and then next time, spot, and then go. On, and oh, then so like, go. on the bridge or on the point, you yeah. should probably start going through main. Yeah. If and they pop. really... If, it should be, like, a reaction to their badness. I would not default sure. to it. Yeah, okay. Then uh, last, or I guess second now. So second is going to be, on your disad, you leave house. It's the same way in reverse. Like, the best way to get out of here is to go lunchbox and go this way, and then walk across. Um, so you want to play to leave house here. Usually I have a scout play here. I play beam link, like, back here. Sometimes we have a soldier demo play here. Um... Yeah, and then our flank plays over here. It's really easy for, like, a roamer, for example, to be out 
early and then like bomb back in to try to get a horse like when they're not really expecting it. Um, you can also hide like up here, which is kind of funny. Sometimes they just won't see you, uh, especially behind the pipe. So mm, you might be able to get away with hiding here. It's a little bit hard because you can kind of see the corner. Anyway, um, yeah, holding, so you're leaving this way. Then for even, the way that I would recommend to do it is you're going to be sacking, but what you should know is that you should stay out of lobby like 90% of the time. Until you're going to push or sack, stay out of lobby entirely. How I like to do this is I have my roamer play here and watch the ramp room. Or uh, sometimes I just have them play down here, because there's a nice splash. Um, as demo, I play like on bridge and watch shutter. Like I can rotate my combo and spam pipes this way. But my primary duty is watching a trap here. Then as pocket, I like to watch this door, make sure I see what's coming. There's a sniper back there, you have to be careful. But you can oh, is, it like a, is it like a pixel angle or something? No. This is just a common spot that snipers will peek. They'll just be like, oh, hello. Uh, okay. That's it. And as medic, I like to play on this left side. Kill a soldier here, or uh, it'd be all the way over on the right. So either, either I'm like far on the left so there's no angle, or I'm far on the right so there's no angle. Like on bridge, kind of. Yeah, those are my... Oops. I guess my recommendations. So you're gonna get buffed first, outside of lobby, before you go into sack. Then the sack I would recommend is you bring your combo left um, and you're looking to bomb your soldier off this wall. So you're looking to walk through here. I did so poorly. Walk okay, through here and jump down. And then do this. Okay. Basically. The things, the obstacles in your way of doing that are going to be traps in this doorway. I'm going to be guys peeking this door while you're getting here. Uh, there could be traps on this wall if their demo is clever. Uh, mm, and then you also have to be worried about a sentry gun. So this sentry gun, this sentry gun won't affect you normally. It'll shoot you a little, uh, like here. But if you have good, uh, good speed then you won't get too denied, but it can deny you. Usually this gun is, like, more annoying. Because it can see you for quite a ways and, like, starts to be able to shoot you, like, in a... If it's, like, right here, it shoots you away from the medic, versus this one doesn't, like, actively hinder you normally if you get past it quick enough. And sometimes they put it under bridge, which literally does nothing, right? Exactly. Bridge, yeah, yeah, under bridge gun will never deny you. But I would recommend spamming first, so... You can, uh... You can spam this gun from here. And you can, if you get really deep somehow, you can spam this from here. But the best way to really deal with it is to tank a demo, like, here. And shoots, like, three pipes, and you'll get it. Or just stickies, and just yep. shoot stickies. But it's a little I annoying because it's a left-handed angle. Yeah. Obviously. I don't know why I'm like explaining this so deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I play Uncle Topia. Okay, yeah. I can kill the sentry. Wait, so, so yeah, uh, I don't see how that bomb would actually kill the medic. Cause it, wouldn't it be really easy for the medic to just spot you and then just get underneath cover? Sometimes, yeah. I would say so. So, like, you have... A l that was not a good jump. He said wall. Um, you can, you can like, get quite deep with it. If you skip a little, or if you uh, power bounce a little better than that, you can, like, get in all the way deep to the medic and, like, Bounce into spawn. And it's pretty good. <laughs> Glad he's so supportive. Yeah,
LFG. This is the best I'll ever do. That's it. That's the highest bomb possible. I did it perfectly. All right. Um. Yeah. Good luck. He has if, unusual baseball bills. If you. You'd be surprised, basically. It's really easy to catch the med under the awning. Like, there's not a lot of room for them to maneuver, so. Uh, the other alternative I would consider would be... Uh, I guess from the right, you can, like, spam this guy off of here, and then once he's off of there, you can, like, bomb off this wall and land in them. Yeah. Um. Okay, uh, so we talked about defensively what sentry guns um, we'll probably see. What, we'll, what should we be building? What do you recommend? I would build those two I talked about. Like, the this is the best one. And this oh. one's okay. Alright. Um, I would build this one if you're on full descent. And I would build this one if you're just even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, um... I still have to go over actually pushing. So when you're gonna push, there's kind of two... There's three doors, essentially. You have far left, you have left to main, or I just call it main, and you have shuttle. Right kind of sucks just because of the opposite of what I talked about. Like, if you want to use the super and you have to deal with this guy first, and if you have to deal with this guy first, they're going to see you coming. Mm. So like That's this, so weird because it gets you so close. This guy can like stuff the Uber pretty hard and see you from quite a ways away. And like right. jump away really easily. Honestly, this door is actually far away. That's right, if you think about it, like this door is probably the closest to spawn. Oh okay. This yeah. one's probably the furthest. And then like an unspotted demo bomb from right here is actually pretty good. So mm. Those are kind of... So, the main uber that my team likes to do... Very simple. Very simple idea. You walk in left, you use in this room. You clear this whole area out behind spawn. And you force their combo to play here. You force them to kite to here. Meanwhile, so you're taking a demo and scout on this uber. Meanwhile, you can have your pocket trail. And you can bomb off there and get to here. Or, I mean, you don't even have to, like, double bomb. You can just, like, jump onto bridge and collapse. And then same thing. Like, as a roamer, you can get to here. So you're looking to pinch their combo right here. And it's literally as simple as that. Like, uh, as your uber comes in from left, your team comes in from right, and you pinch right here. You try to kill them, and then you go to point. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is kind of the opposite. You put your soldier up on top of here so they can't get out this way. And then you use your uber from here and you go over there. So you can go across here and you bomb your demo across. So they're trapped behind here and while they're trapped you cap. So you have a soldier blocking this exit. You were demo blocking these two with the Uber, then you cap. The final thing, so you can bomb through here with the demo, or you can bomb from shutter with the demo. Those are pretty how basic. Far am, how far in am I trying to get? Like at the end of bridge? Just I would like to get to here from those okay. bombs. Then you can trap point or should do damage. Like you have a lot of or options. Shoot them out of spawn, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been kicked. Oh man. They want you in Discord. Yeah, they do. Alright, I'll cut it off here then. Hopefully those ideas are good. Sure. I have a thing or two I'd want to go over with, specifically our team.